your Precision 18 forecast. News 18, weather from where you live. Well, some snow showers, a freezing drizzle around tonight. Some minor accumulation in places. We may have a little film of glaze in places and also a little bit of light snowfall accumulation here and there. But a pretty active weather pattern, colder too. What I mean by active, we have multiple storm systems we're tracking that will impact the area. Well, not only tonight, but right into the upcoming weekend. You know, it's a pretty steady snow here from Plasky right through Cass and Howard counties with accumulation in progress. Also, some snow showers have been moving through Montgomery County. But there's the snow from Logansport, Peru to Grissom Air Reserve Base area, and then all the way back to Winnemac. Now, in the West Lafayette, Lafayette, Fowler, Pine Village areas, it's just a few spits of snow and a little freezing drizzle. But there are other snow showers coming in out of central and eastern Illinois, and some snow showers as far west as Waterloo and Des Moines, Iowa. So we've got several hours of kind of some off and on snow mixed with freezing drizzle. So be aware of some slick spots in the morning and some flakes, and then we'll get a little partial clearing later on today, uh, later on tomorrow. Any flakes should get out of here by around midday, 25 in the morning, a high of 31. There are the lows tonight from 24 to 27 over the viewing area with highs tomorrow anywhere from 31 to about 33, including a 31 at Flora, Monticello, Brookston, all the way back to Fowler. Now, on Thursday, uh, a wave of light snow comes in. So it's a pretty steady snow mid morning to midday, early afternoon before it tapers to scattered snow showers. A high of 32 around midday, then falling to 30 late. And some minor snowfall accumulation is expected with highs 31. To about 34 degrees. Precision cast shows the scattered snow showers and freezing drizzle exiting uh, with time tomorrow morning and then some clearing in the afternoon. And then we watch Thursday because on Thursday that wave of some light snow will begin to move in. But in terms of snowfall for tonight, this model's cranking out maybe a third to as much as an inch of snow in our northeastern areas, perhaps a third or a half an inch in the south. And There'll be patches where, you know, you have a half an inch of snow, other areas a trace, some places close to one inch. And then the snow on Thursday, it's going to vary anywhere from perhaps a half to a third of an inch, and some places may get up to one inch of snow. And then we watch what's headed near our way for the weekend. This is currently looking to track south of our area. This could be significant snow. If it shifts northward, though, we're going to have to really up the potential snow. I'm not, at this point right now, not convinced that we're not going to get it, you know, anything from it. I'd like to keep the potential of some snow in the forecast on Saturday in case that storm does shift a little north. And I've seen them do that before. Sometimes it's the day before. All right, 28 on Friday, 29 on Saturday. See, it's a pretty cold Sunday, and then we warm up a little bit to 37 on Tuesday. Probably we'll get into the 40s for at least a couple of days next week. Yeah, not a lot of action out tonight, but tomorrow we might see some more snowflakes.